back. So welcome everybody to the Hidden Valley Kart Raceway. Home of the champions, Lismore Car Club. And it's time for the penultimate final of the day. It is the novices who've made their way out onto the circuit. And Travi has come out at the back, I do believe, because he had the battery go in the last one. So I'll just wait and see where they all line up. I'm not sure if he's going to go up further or where he's going to start at the back. So, <clears throat> in one, Sebastian Eskandari Morandi. Out of two, Kobe Preston. From three, Brockhelm. From four, Angus Mac Maxworthy. From five, Riley Grand. From six, Charlie Hogan. And from seven, the cheeky chap himself, Travi Dew. Don't expect to see him finish there. Here we go then, getting ready. What can Sebastian Eskandari do this time? Because he's going to have his hands full. Kobe Preston is most certainly one of the favourites round here. Travi Dew would have been, but unfortunately with a battery failure in the last one, has to start at the back. All righty, 12 laps of racing. The novices, do we go green light racing? Away we go! No, we don't. Woo! Drama, drama, drama. Oh, just when you couldn't build up more tension, we get a little bit more. Just what I love to see. And Sebastian Eskandari, believe me, is going to be one to beat. But if anybody can do it, the flyer, the local, Kobe Preston can. Brock Helm, what a start position for young Brock. The P play to remember. And Angus Maxworthy as well. Travi G has got work to do from the back, but expect to see him come through. But what will happen at the start of this race? Anybody's guess. This one is going to be a cracker. Get yourselves to the fence line. You will love it. Here we go then. Grand looking racy. Hogan looking racy. Travi Jew wants to go going, oh no! Commentator's curse. Riley Graham went around, he's got to put the foot down and get into it and get back in his position. And that he does, so he's back where he is. I think we are just about ready to go. Green light racing, where do we go? And Eskandari Mirandi gets the whole shot. But I'm pretty sure Brock Helm has gone to P2 in front of Kobe Preston. Somebody's gone dirt tracking, dirty for 30. I'll tell you when they come back towards me. But it is leader, Eskandari Mirandi. Catch me if you can, and who will catch him? Preston goes to P2. Brock Helm still holds P3. Travi Jew is already up to P4 and chasing. Then Riley Grant. Then it is. Angus, sorry, Charlie Hogan. So it must have been Maxworthy that went around. Indeed it was. Poor old Angus Maxworthy went around. Meanwhile, the leaders are, oh no, we went another one go round. Another spinner. It's all fanned out. Oh my goodness me. Talk about dramas in every race. Eskandari now has a massive lead from Preston. Helm. And where is Travi Jew? I think he must have made a move and it all went wrong because he's found his way behind Riley Grand. Riley Grand's holding on, but Travi Jew must have made a move while I was facing the other way, probably in turn one. And it's all gone pear shaped. And he finds his way down now in P5. Now he goes up one to P4, but the leader, Sebastian Eskandari Mirandi. We said it at the beginning of the day, and we'll say it again. He is a little ripper. And Kobe Preston chasing him up the hill. Brock Helm, what a drive at the final from Brock. The number 26 is having a cracker final. With eight laps of this race to go, Brock Helm looks mighty comfortable in P3, but Travi Jew will try and close him down. The cheeky chappy in 37 has gone past Riley Grant. Then here comes Hogan and Maxworthy. They're going to slug it out again. Hogan, Maxworthy right behind him. There goes the leader. 
Looks like he really has got this dialed in now. 35, 142. He is seven tenths quicker than anybody else. Through goes Preston. Through goes Brockhelm. Here comes Travi Jew. Through he goes. Then Riley Grand goes through. And then still Maxworthy right behind. Charlie Hogan slugging it out as the leaders are already coming back up towards me and in through the super cheap rise. Eskandari leads the way. And remember, I will remind you, he went to Bundaberg for the first time and beat everybody. He went to Warwick for the first time and beat everybody. He's come to Lismore for the first time. And boy, oh boy, has he shown some speed. And you just can't talk this kid up enough. He's going to be going nationals after this. But boy, oh boy, is the flying number 44 a rocket. So he goes. Then Preston hanging on in there in P2. Followed by Brock out. What a drive from Brock. Through the super team rise, and I think Travi Jew is closing him down. Half race distance done, and Travi Jew might just fancy another position. As they head over the start finish line, Travi Jew heads through turn one, chasing hard, following him. Riley Grant, there he goes, there goes Riley, and then this battle still. Hogan and Maxworthy heading down the dipper back towards me. Hogan holding on. Maxworthy's got these waving. Maxworthy's giving a wave. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, Angus waving it as he goes past as Sebastian Escandari breezes through turn one, followed by Preston. Then Brockhelm comes down the dipper and look at this. Travi Jew with four to go is getting closer and closer. Down they head into the Pirate Republic hairpin. There goes the leader, Eskandari Miranda, 34-9. Boy, oh boy, what a time that is. Travi Jew is a second and a half behind Brockhelm. So here comes Kobe Preston holding P2. And now that second and a half has disappeared. Travi Jew has caught Brockhelm into turn one. Now he's all over him like a rash. Through they go into the Power Republic hairpin. And then they'll head up that Andrew Thompson straight away. Will he have a look now already? He's close enough. Through they come then into the right hand elbow. Travi Jew looks, looks, doesn't go there. Where will he go? I think into the dipper. Travi Jew lines him up, lines him up. Whoa, doesn't go through. Maybe it'll be turn one. He's going to get the run off the final turn with two laps to go. Travi Jew, but Brockham is holding him. Still he holds him. Brockham still holding on to that position. He's not going to let up. Meanwhile, up the hill and now splitting the back markers. Sebastian Escandari Mirandi has had a lonely race at the front. He breezes past Maxworthy and Hogan and down. Oh no! Travi Jew and Brockhelm have come together. Disaster for those two. So Travi Jew goes through and I was looking the other way. Not sure how that happened. But here comes the leader. The check and flag awaits. And it is the novices, the final. Please put your hands together for your winner, the double flag wave, Sebastian Escandari Mirandi. Second, Kobe Preston. Third, here he comes, the cheeky chappy. Down into the dipper on the double flag wave for the number 37, Travi Jew. And P4, Brockhelm. Fifth, Riley Grant. Sixth, Angus Maxworthy. And seventh, Charlie Hogan. Well done to the little people.